And tonight I am joined by Chris Brown, the president of Brady. That's a group dedicated to addressing gun violence in America through reform. So, Chris, thank you so much for joining me on Early Edition. Let's get right to it. We've now had multiple mass shootings in just the span of a month, let alone the seemingly countless ones in years past. What is the realistic answer here? Because gun reform, as we all know, will not happen tomorrow. Well, we need solutions that address the comprehensive nature of the problem that we have. We have a public health epidemic. The horror that unfolded in Indianapolis last night is sadly all too common. We've had a huge increase, even against the backdrop of the pandemic and gun violence across this country. We lose 40,000 Americans a year to gun violence. So we need a, to recognize this as a public health epidemic and move forward boldly on the solutions that we know work. One of those is expanding our nation's Brady background check system. That requires a background check to be done before a gun is sold to an individual um, and it stops the sale of guns to prohibited purchasers. There's legislation pending in the Senate to do that. The facts and situations, of course, in Indianapolis continued to unfold, but I was listening to this broadcast before our lead in here. And if there are signs of individuals who are at risk to themselves or others, and it sounds like some of that might have been the case with this shooter. Right. The extreme risk law, 19 states in the District of Columbia have passed these that allow family members and law enforcement to remove guns temporarily from individuals who are at risk. So these are the kinds of solutions that can work and save lives, and we need that at a federal level. Well, Chris, many Americans really are uh, proponents of some type of gun control legislation. But how do you address those Americans who are legal gun owners and believe in their Second Amendment rights? I agree with that, too. And there's nothing about what we're talking about here that in any way infringes on the rights of lawful gun owners. Lawful gun owners will pass Brady background checks. They're not going to be stopped from purchasing guns. They can purchase many guns. And lawful gun owners are not going to be the subject, unless they're at risk to themselves or others, of extreme risk laws. Look, we have a, a nation of laws mm -hmm. for any of the constitutional rights we have, including the Second Amendment. They're not unlimited. You can't yell fire in a crowded theater. The same is true here. Our Second Amendment rights are very, very important, but our Second Amendment should not be interpreted as a death sentence to our fellow Americans. Right. We have to balance right. our interest in public safety. That's what the Brady Law in, in effect for 27 years does. And we need to advance that to strengthen that system, to ensure that individuals who have people at risk in their own homes can protect themselves and our communities. And these are common sense measures that everyone supports. All right, Chris Brown, thank you so much for your insight tonight. We do appreciate it.